How do you live again? Crimson Fox asked Wangina. The Neverworld of Anger is a dark and miserable place, replied Wangina, but my spirit crept upwards with unfinished business and I cried to the angel Gabriel to restore me and he did as such, for the angels are known in all worlds. Bah! I cannot fathom the lock, said Silver Sorceress. It is beyond me. He works cunning knowledge for great man, said Crimson Fox. When he had us kidnapped, I could feel the apathy in my heart long displaced, said Silver Sorceress, that when he had us kidnapped, that unbearable aspect of being I was consumed in my heroics was unanswered questions of youth, and he brought that out in me again in the grey pit that provoked it in me. I felt nothing, neither good nor bad, just only shades of grey. Try the lock again, said Crimson Fox, looking at the books in the bookcase. I shall endeavour, said Silver Sorceress, and worked through another incantation. The screen of the room came on and the grey man's face appeared. Other books to your liking, Crimson Fox. They are a lifetime's reward for my hard soldier, knowledge. The only thing which brings any sort of cheer to my dismal existence. Where are the others, grey man, insisted Crimson Fox. In other chambers, pathetically attempting to escape. What do you want, fool? asked the silver sorceress. No harm, nothing really. Entertainment, killing time, a fool's game, I know, but... What are you going to do, huh? Get a job, said Silver Sorceress, and returned the focus to the lock. You amuse me, said the grey man, and the screen went blank. Silver Sorceress continued trying incantations. Success! she exclaimed as the door opened. In we go, said Wangina, Crimson Fox following them into the next room. Bored, said Knight. Me too, said Squire. Five hours boring, nothing to do but stare at his artwork. You shall be bored no longer, said Silver Sorceress. Rescued, said Squire. You have no way out of this room, asked Wengina. Knight shook his head. Silver Sorceress examined the doors, similar locks. Here we go again, she muttered to herself. Good girl, said Crimson Fox. A panel was seen opened, and nanotech spiders started crawling in. I hate spiders, said the silver sorceress. One genus started bashing at them, soon bigger spiders entered in, and all of them hacked away the nanobots, crunching them. The screen came on. The lords of order and chaos have contact, said the grey man, in various fields. Contacts. They felt it would be amusing. Hilarious, said Crimson Fox. Have it now on tape, said the grey man. Traditionally, the HS, of course. What, no Betamax? asked Crimson Fox. I can get it transferred. Small fee, said the grey man, and the screen went off. He's a laugh, right? said Knight. Keep out of SS, said Crimson Fox to Silver Sorceress, as she again tried to spells on the doors. Another panel opened and a droid carrying burgers, fries and soft drinks came in. The screen came on. I wouldn't want you to starve, said the grey man. You're all heart said Crimson Fox. I'm enjoying this. The other teams are finding the cube equally frustrating. You're a funny guy, replied Crimson Fox. Alas, no, just grey, said the grey man, and the screen went blank. We'll be out this a while, said Silver Sorceress. Probably, replied Crimson Fox. A door opened, Deconstructor and Ryan Scream came in. How did you crack the door, asked Silver Sorceress. I'm good at code breaking, said Rhino Scream. A panel on the ceiling opened. The grey man appeared. Your choice, spiders again or rats? Rats this time, sighed Crimson Fox. The rats had entered in. They dispatched the small nano rats. The big ones gnawed them a bit, but were similarly dismantled. A robo vacuum cleaner entered and gathered up all the bits and left through a small panel. You light up my life said Grey Man to Crimson Fox. I'll make sure you are paid well. You are paying us? queried Crimson Fox. The heroes looked at their nemesis. I'm not evil. This is not really kidnapping, just entertainment. You have a trial and a tribulation. You should survive it. The Lords of Order and Chaos are just bored. Just as a group, they just want to be entertained. We could be saving the world, you know, said Knight. Instead, we are pawns of a grey man, said Squire, <laughs> said Crimson Fox. 
I like you, says the grey man to Crimson Fox. You understand me somewhat. She gives people a chance, said Deconstructor. Mercy, grey people need it, said the grey man. There are more of you, asked Deconstructor. I'm an element of the universe. It comes in numbers, inevitably. The grey people, said Crimson Fox, and God help us all. Give me a go, said Rhino Screen. Silver Sorceress, Levy Israeli, hero at the next door. She soon enough cracked it open, and they found Lord Slime with Metamorpho and Fire and Ice. Lionheart was inebriated. He got drunk on the whiskey, said Ice. That cost me a fortune, said the grey man, flicking on the screen of the room. No matter, it was solid viewing. After a while, they cracked the final door and came to an exit in the next room. A buggy ride was next to it. Get on, said a droid. They got on, and it took off at an incredible speed. Receive your debit cards, said the droid. Cards popped out of the slots in front of them. Forty thousand pounds each. Card, said the droid. Be sure to send others in a few months. We could use other great heroes for a thrill. The ride finished and they rushed into a room. It rose to the surface and they found themselves in a rundown building. They exited it and found themselves in a lonely London back alley. It's midnight, said Deconstructo. We know how to find him, said Knight. And bring him to justice, said Squire. I know, said Crimson Fox. No matter. Let's go home. And the adventure came to its final conclusion. The end.